I'm Sammy, I'm 14, and this is my fifth year cheering. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. And my mom, she heard there was an opening. She sent in a video without asking me. I got accepted. She's like, well, you just got accepted to Smoed. This is my second practice. I feel like I fit in with this team. I've made good friends with people, so I just want to work hard and stay on here. Um, I heard you saw the cat. Is that the doctor? Yes, that's the doctor. <laughs> and he says that your your knee's just bruised. And he says you can do anything. How do you feel? Bad. It's not getting better. Like, so what are you going to do? I don't know. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, Maddie. Like, Eddie's yeah. not going to play games with you. Oh, no, I'm not playing games myself. Maddie uh, got hurt doing a double. She had sprained her knee previous, came in too fast, too hard and re-injured her knee. When I have my mind set on something, like I make sure that I achieve it. I put a lot of pressure on myself. Like that's how I was raised. I just want to cry <laughs> because I want to stay here so bad. If I were you, I would talk to him about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, because I'm he's looking, to. so. We have one spot open right now, and so Eddie's looking for another girl. And I mean, it makes me stressed because I don't know how injured I am. My biggest thing is, with Sierra is I don't want ever someone to be look at her and be like, she's only on the team because she yeah. is at ease. Yeah. My name's Sierra, I'm 16 years old and I've been cheering for 10 years. Andrea is my mom and she's the office manager and she does everything for the gym. She is basically like the team mom for like every team. I've been with California All Star husband and Tara since the beginning. I've just like basically been raised by Eddie and Orvi. Eddie is like an uncle to me, but it doesn't matter because he's going to pick the best 20 athletes for the team. It's scary because like I know my spot's definitely not secured. I just need to come into the gym and like work extra hard. Sammy, just so you know, no one's spot secure. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's called Welcome to Smart. Yeah. I'm new on the team. I have to work that much harder because now I've just been on it for like a week. Truly, guys, it's going to be a really good season if we just all stick together and pull together. If one of your teammates is lacking in something, well, encourage yeah. them to work it. Encourage them to work it because he doesn't play games. Yeah. So on that note, peace out. Go. Oh my God, I can't give up. Plan for practice tonight to start formatting our routine for the season. We're just going to start putting people in spots and start putting together skills and just kind of build from there. Oh, your teammates decided they wanted to walk, so we have to run another mile. Sorry, guys. Keep the legs pumping. Well, I walked out here. I told them to run four laps in the alley, and they decided they were going to walk when I walked out here. There was a whole bunch of veterans and newbies walking down the alley, so now they have to run an extra mile. Don't be lost, let's go! Hmm? I was really excited to come in and work with them today because they did their weekend workouts, and now we come back to this. Raise your hand if you're walking. Raise your hand, be honest. I just watched half of you guys walk. Why are you here? If that's how we're gonna operate, cool. You got games, I got games. I'm gonna win. I will lose kids left and right. Do you understand? Eddie as a coach is very hard. He pushes us really hard, like to the max. I'm gonna work that much harder. To stay on this team, I can't slack on anything. They're about to get hit by the train called Eddie Rios. Go, two, run around till you touch the wall, don't slow down. Everybody run around, touch the wall, the whole thing doesn't count. Stay down. Moral story is, do what I ask you to do when I ask you to do it, or it's gonna come back to you worse. Picked a great day, guys. All the way to the end, please. This is not mediocre all-stars, let's go. I mean, right now, I think he's kind of just watching to see who he has to push. He's pushing us with his mind, because we all know that he's pissed, so. Let's go, Shannon, the girl with the broken legs, catching up. Try to go uh, fast in the middle and breathe on the end, babe. Oh, air conditioning. No pain, no gain. When Eddie gets mad, it's like a storm hits. That's awful, and it just like rampages through the freaking city. It's not fun. Sad part, Shannon was one of the ones running the whole time. Look at what you guys are doing to her. Go! 
I'm glad that they got to see the crazy side of Eddie before like the season starts because it's it's not the first time and it definitely won't be the last time. Good move. Press. Blow. Squeeze your arm. Next time I ask you to run four laps, that means run what? Does it mean walk two laps and then walk two laps? No. I just wasted a whole hour and a half conditioning. We're revamping our plan for practice, so uh, we're just gonna warm up stunts really quick, and then I'm um, gonna start working on some creative transitions for our routine. Being a veteran on this team, I don't feel like I'm on top. I feel like I'm equal with everyone else. Getting a new girl on the team or looking for a new girl kind of puts in people's minds like, oh, my spot's in jeopardy, but I think it's a motivation for us to like work harder and keep our skills up. And then it's gonna dip, and then she's gonna front flip, and then land on her stomach. Three and four, five arms. Good. Strong. Seven. Hit. Two, three, and hold. Squeeze. One, two, three, and good. Six, seven. Up. One. Good. And work on that. Okay. Sammy's one of our new recruits. There's definitely room for potential. She's eager to learn. You know, it just makes it easier to work with. I've been a flyer for four years. I based a little last year, but it's just different from being a flyer, you know? My basing's going pretty good right now. I think we're gonna do very well. I'm just trying to figure it out one group at a time. Because I'm trying to figure out what boy is gonna work and what boy's not gonna work. Keep her toe to the front. Come down. Three, legs, five, strong, seven. Hit, lock, good. Three and four, five, hold. Keep your foot under your hip, let's go. On my old team, I didn't stunt, I tumbled, so my strongest points have been tumbling. Well, it's difficult to be the all-around athlete. Is that better? My biggest disadvantage right now is my partner stunning. Because I don't have that muscle yet, it's just harder to partner stunt the girls. We're bringing in an extra boy, so the boys that aren't partner signing well are feeling the pressure. Jonah is like my second half right now. If he gets cut, I'd be devastated. I couldn't deal with that. I love Jonah. <laughs> Don't get frustrated. It's part of the process. Like, you guys tried, right? It didn't work, so it's fun. Why are you frustrated because you dropped the toss? Sure. Since I got here, I've been in the gym every single day. I haven't had a day off. I think that staying on the team is it's really all I want, like, Good for the down. season. I mean, it's my last season to cheer, so I just really want that push my last year. At the end of the day, we need six cents in the air. So, you know, it's part of the process, and we have to figure out a formula that's going to work for everyone. Hey, guys, it's Jonah. Thanks for watching Cheerleaders, and don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV.